A term you may have heard of in the car world are individual throttle bodies or ITBs for short. Firstly, what is a throttle body? A throttle body is a butterfly valve usually located between the air filter and the intake manifold that regulates how much air goes into the engine based on input from the gas pedal. This used to be done by a mechanical cable connected to the gas pedal that pulls the valve open, but nowadays, most of them are electronically controlled. Anyways, back to ITBs. Instead of the usual single throttle body setup commonly found in commuter cars for example, cars with ITBs mean that they have one throttle body for each piston. In a V8 engine, there would be 8 throttle bodies. In an inline 4, there would be 4. Now, what are the actual benefits of this? Firstly, by giving each cylinder its own throttle body, the throttle response is increased significantly as they are right before the cylinder, whereas if there is only one throttle body, it is usually far away from the cylinders and thus slowing the throttle response. ITBs also build atmospheric pressure outside the cylinder, so when they are open, air is sucked into the cylinder instantaneously, which helps reduce pumping losses at partial throttle. Having ITBs also mean that an intake manifold usually isn't needed, but many cars like BMWs have an intake manifold to better filter the air before it goes into the cylinders. Another reason why car enthusiasts love ITBs so much is because of the sound that ITBs make. Have a listen. <laughs> However, ITPs also have their own set of disadvantages. Firstly, it is very expensive to engineer, produce, and in aftermarket cases, tune. Although the gain in performance-oriented cars is useful, they are often unnecessary in street cars as a single throttle body is more than enough for getting from A to B. Another disadvantage is that they are usually not used in cars with turbocharged or supercharged applications, as there isn't much to gain in having ITPs in a forced induction car, and second, it just makes things more complicated and hard to tune. Anyways, that's ITBs explained in less than 3 minutes. Hope you guys found this video useful in clarifying ITBs for you. If you did, please leave a like and maybe a comment on what video you guys want to see next. Uh, lastly, I recommend you please subscribe to the channel as it helps me out massively. Thanks.